Hello Knitters, I'm Mary Annarella of Lyrical Knits and this is a tutorial for how to work a very special stitch for the mystery knit along called The Knights Who Say Knit. This stitch, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it just yet. It looks, it's kind of like a bubble stitch, but I think I might call it very small rocks that we're working on here. And this is just to show you how to do the knit five below stitch. Now what I've done already is worked my four stockinette stitch rows with this contrasting colorway. Um, I'm not remembering which number color this is right now. I want to say this is C3 color three or color four, but it's not the main color. <laughs> um, so I worked four stockinette stitch rows with the main color and I'm sorry, with the contrasting color. And now I'm working the knit five below stitch with the main colorway. So I've worked my way up to where I have to do the knit five below. So I wanna show you how to do that. So to do that, we're going to take the right hand needle and stick it into the fifth stitch below the next stitch on the left hand needle. <laughs> Let me say that again a little slower. We're going to insert the right needle right here into the fifth stitch below on the left hand needle over here. So how do we do that? I just count this way. One, two, three, four holes right there. And those are all the contrasting color holes, aren't they? So the fifth one down is actually in the main color. If you can see that right there. So let's count those again. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go right into there. And again, it's the main color stitch and I'm going to knit like that, knit right in that hole right there. You know, you don't have to pull it up too, too much, but don't keep it tight like that. Um, although the tighter you keep it, um, the more bubble-like or the more stone or very small rock-like your little bit will be. But I, I just kind of go like that, but you don't want, you know, you don't want something all loosey-goosey like that. So, yeah, right about there. Then what you do, okay, so let's just do that again. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. We have knit. We have knit that. Now what we're gonna do is drop this stitch off the left hand needle. Don't be afraid. You have already knit below it, so it's going to be secure. And unravel that as you go. See how I just did that out? And now you have these loose, loose stitches back there. That's totally fine. Now knit the next three. One, two, three. The number you shall count shall be three. Thou shalt not knit to two, except that thou proceedest to three. Five is right out. <laughs> Until we get to the knit five below. So now we're ready to do this again. One, two, three, four, five. Knit. Knit that. And let that one stitch off the left hand needle and unravel. That's what gives it the little bubble or makes it a bit of a very small rock. Now again, the number we shall knit two shall be three. One, two, three. And now we shall knit five below. One, two, three, four, five below. And you'll probably get to the point where you won't have to count this anymore. You'll just be like, oh, I'm just knitting into the, the, that first or the closest main color row stitch, just like that. Don't forget to let that stitch off the left hand needle and see it's not going to unravel all the rest of the way because you secured it right here with this knit stitch. So I hope you are enjoying the mystery knit along. Bang those coconuts together. Go find a shrubbery, a nice small one that's not too expensive, and I'll see you for the next clue.